is coming out right there, so that. Back yeah. away? Yeah. Okay. Not too. Oh, you want to carry the bucket? So you yeah. try to pick them. He's like, give me one. I want one. Give it. Mm. Is it okay if he eats the pits? Eats the pits? Well, well, no. Oh, yeah. This is so picturesque. Fun. Yeah, probably. Poor Andrew had to work. He wanted to come so bad, but he had to work. Show me your face. Go messy face. He's so messy. <laughs> Okay, let's go pick more. Come hold the bucket. Okay. Tip, bring a tall person with you. Here, I'll hold the bucket for you if you want. Oh, we got it. Whole bunch of them right there. Yeah, bring someone with you who's at least six foot tall. <laughs> and you fill this whole bucket. You just fill like a whole bucket. Just that little cluster right there. there There's go. a whole bunch good right job. there too. We found a good job. tree. He picked a few off the ground that I think Dad just yeah, knocked down. One. Yeah. Stay right here. Hold on, I'm in a bunch of just fall. <laughs> just shake the tree and get him off of the ground. Oh. oh, did you find one on the ground? See, Grandma, here. Hey, Grandpa. Hopefully that's not dangerous. <laughs> Give him a stick potato. Do you have a stick, dude? Do you have a stick? Do you have a stick? Oh, you're so happy with your stick. You're so happy with your stick. A big boo. Oh, this is your grandpa. There he is. A big boo. <laughs> 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 you got a lot, Cherry. You want to hold it with your hands? Eating some pizza. You have some pizza. Pizza and cherries. We'll go sit at the table. It's a couple days later now. We're headed to church. We're actually at church right now, but we're a little bit early, so we're letting William play on the playground. He got over his fear. He fell off this slide. It's a huge slide. He fell off the slide a couple weeks ago, and he's been like afraid of heights, like afraid of parks, like completely. Like he won't even climb the stairs or anything. So we took him a couple days ago to the park. Woo! <laughs> and now he seems to be over his fear of heights, which is awesome. So. He's able to have fun. Where you at? There you are. <gasps> Go up the slide. Show him your climbing skills. Good job. Say, watch me, Mom. Go. <laughs> so today I'm going to freeze all of the cherries. We ate a lot of them fresh because we really like fresh fruit, making smoothies and stuff like that. But I definitely don't want them to start going bad or get like too ripe or anything like that. So we're gonna freeze some of them and I wanna show you exactly how we're doing that. We got this um, cherry pitter, I think is what it's called, but it does like six at a time. And you just pop the cherries in there and it removes the pits 
So then you can freeze them because I didn't want to have to cut each one in half because I figured that would take forever and then they'd be cut in half and they'd stick together when they froze and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to use this and we're just going to see how it works out. I've never used this before. Alrighty, so you put them all in there with the stems off and now we're just going to squish it down like that and see, stamped out all the little bits. And then this is what they look like afterwards. They're just kind of hollowed out, but still like an intact actual like cherry. So yeah, that works really, really well. Alrighty, makes a little bit of a mess. So I've got all of my cherries pitted. I've got all the stems and the pits and everything sitting there. And I'm gonna pop these in the freezer just like this. And then once they are like completely frozen and they're not like stuck together or anything like that, I'll stick them in a bag then. Because if I throw them in the bag and then freeze them, they might stick together and I want to be able to take, you know, three out, throw in a smoothie or whatever. I don't want to have to, you know, break a giant cherry brick. So I'm going to freeze them just like this and then we'll pour them into a bag afterwards. So I think I'm going to end the vlog right here, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed cherry picking was so much fun. We are totally gonna have to do it like a yearly thing now because it was so much fun. And over the last couple of days, it has been so nice having these to snack on. We are like obsessed with cherries now, so it's gonna be really sad when the last of them run out. But thank you for watching and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye guys.